Welcome to the 2021-22 NCAA Men's Basketball Weekly Whistle Video number 11. This is J.D. Collins, the NCAA National Coordinator of Men's Basketball Officiating. As a reminder, officials have been directed to continue their efforts to reduce physicality to create freedom of movement. This weekly whistle video will focus on freedom of movement for cutters. A tenet of the directive to reduce physicality is that cutters must be allowed freedom of movement. Much to the dismay of some pundits, officials have done a good job of allowing cutters to move freely. The rules book states, in order to maintain legal guarding position on a player without the ball, the guard shall give the opponent enough time and distance to avoid contact. Defenders use many tactics to impede the progress of cutters. Let's look at some plays. Number 5 red sets a screen at the top of the key and then cuts to the basket. Number 33 white chucks number 5 red to impede his progress. The center official correctly calls a freedom of movement foul on number 33 white. Number 0 white moves toward the free throw line extended and cuts to the basket. Number 1 black uses both arms to hold number 0 white to impede his progress. The center official correctly calls a freedom of movement foul on number one black. Number one red moves from the wing toward the lane and cuts to the basket. Number five white uses both arms to hold number one red to impede his progress. The center official correctly calls a freedom of movement foul on number five white. Number three white moves from the wing toward the lane and cuts to the basket. Number four blue uses both arms to hold and chuck number three white to impede his progress. The lead official correctly calls a freedom of movement foul on number four blue. Number 24 blue moves from the top of the key and cuts to the basket. Number 15 white uses both arms to hold and chuck number 24 blue to impede his progress. The center official correctly calls a freedom of movement foul on number 15 white. Number 1 blue moves from the corner toward the lane and cuts to the basket. Number 22 white body checks number 1 blue to impede his progress. The lead official correctly calls a freedom of movement foul on number 22 white. Number 23 blue moves from the low post toward the free throw line and attempts to cut around a screen. Number 21 gray uses his right arm to hold number 23 blue to impede his progress. The center official correctly calls a freedom of movement foul on number 21 gray. Number zero white moves from the top of the key toward the wing and attempts to cut around a screen. Number one blue uses his right arm to hold and chuck number zero white to impede his progress. The trail official correctly calls a freedom of movement foul on number one blue. Lastly, a reminder that positioning is everything. The trail official gets straight lined on this play. Number 11 white does embellish the end of this play as the trail official calls a flop warning on number 11 white. Number 13 black starts the play with both arms wrapped around number 11 white and continues to hold him as he cuts around the screen. The center official needed to position adjust and assist on this screening play. Number 13 black is not allowed to reach through a screen and hold in this manner. This was a freedom of movement defensive foul and needed to be called. This is a great time of year for everyone that loves college basketball. Good luck to your team this season. And thank you for your interest in college basketball.